When I try to measure flour with measuring cups, flour winds up all over the place. Measuring with a cup isn't very accurate either. If you live in a damp climate, a cup of flour can be up to 10% less flour than a cup in a dry climate. And measuring this way is slow, even slower when you're chasing the last of the flour around the bottom of the container. Sometimes I lose count. Oh man, did I put in three cups or four? So anyway, these are all reasons why Europeans don't use measuring cups to measure flour. Neither do professional chefs. I like to be certain about things when I cook or bake, so I use this OXO food scale to measure flour accurately. I use it to measure a lot of other things, too. The scale isn't a whole lot bigger than my Amazon Kindle, but it can handle more than five times its own weight, up to 11 pounds. That's enough for almost any home cooking task. And thanks to the pull-out display, you can put almost any size bowl on the scale without blocking the screen. This 8-quart bowl doesn't even begin to eclipse the display. I weighed my exercise bowl and found it was almost 3 ounces heavier than last time. Must be the coat of accumulated dust on it. The scale is accurate to 1 eighth of an ounce. A stick of butter has been placed on the scale. Why is the display showing a tad more than a quarter pound? Because the wrapper is still on the butter. The scale has four buttons. On off, zero button, press it and the weight of whatever's already on the scale is removed from the measurement. Switch from pounds and ounces to grams and kilograms. Backlight, I guess for when you're cooking up a conspiracy in the dark. But you gotta love the zero button. Put a bowl on, press zero, and the weight of the bowl disappears. Now the scale is ready to measure only what you put into the bowl next. If you have more ingredients to measure into the bowl, press zero again, and now the scale will weigh just the next ingredient. You can measure all the ingredients for a cake this way in about a minute. American cookbook authors are starting to include gram measurements in their recipes. If you're using a cookbook that doesn't, there are conversion charts on the web that tell you, for example, how many grams are in a cup of baker sugar or bread flour. There's also a calculator tool on my website, cookingwithcertainty.com. The scale takes four AAA batteries, which are included. Tray pops off for washing. Scoop and sweep? No thanks. I'd rather dump and tweak. Let's say I need five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, that's uh, 688 grams. Dump and tweak. How easy is that? This recipe calls for one and a quarter teaspoons of honey. You can't measure honey accurately with a teaspoon because half the honey sticks to the spoon. Well, instead, just squeeze out nine grams. <laughs> this gadget. Have you ever tried to use one of these after a couple of glasses of wine? Use the scale instead. Four ounces for my wife, zero it out, 14 ounces for me. When you're dividing dough for bread or pizza, you can eyeball it, but you'll probably be way off. The scale guarantees pizza equality for all. Use it to divide portions of other foods. Make uniformly sized burgers. Weigh out diet portions. I probably use the OXO food scale as much as any tool in my kitchen. Heck, I'd trade my toaster for it. Oh wait, I don't own a toaster. Well, I'd definitely trade my measuring cups for it. I'm Mark Myers. That's me on the right. And I love the tools that help me cook with certainty.